Hey everyone, this is David Kim from Korea Now with the weekly K Buzz. In today's K Buzz, we start off with an exciting news on BTS joining the OST lineup for Marvel's Eternals. Just last week, American media outlet The Direct revealed that BTS friends sung by Jimin and V will be included in the Eternals OST. The news was soon confirmed by the Walt Disney Company, surprising and exciting the BTS fans. Friends is from their fourth studio album Map of the Soul 7 and holds much significance for both members. For Jimin, the song is his first official debut as a producer and for V, it is his first duet music. Moreover, the song is about friendship based on a real episode between Jimin and V. After Sai's hangover in Black Panther, it is the second time for a Korean song to appear in a Marvel film. This is especially impressive considering that Sai's music was mostly written in English, whereas Friends is composed mostly of Korean lyrics. As for the fans, they were plastering messages of congratulations for BTS on social media. Keywords such as Producer Jimin, Prod Jimin, Composer Jimin, Marvel soon started trending, even gathering people to hold Eternal's group viewing upon its release on November 3rd. However, for the members of BTS, they had to learn the news from their fans during a V-Live session. It was clear from their reactions that no one had been told in advance. Suga was even seen questioning why their agency had not told them or at least Jimin before the whole world found out. For their music to be used as an OST for the movie, HYBE would have to go through consultations and make a contract with Marvel. However, HYBE is still yet to make any official announcement on the topic despite the already numerous congratulatory articles published from domestic media. The next news is on Squid Game and a possible plagiarism move from Chinese media. China's largest video platform, Youku, announced on this week that it will produce an entertainment program, The Victory of the Squid. Upon the announcement, however, it was immediately accused of plagiarizing the Netflix's original hit, Squid Game. On the poster of the program, not only does the name include Squid, but it also has a logo design similar to Squid Game. In response to the angry protest of their Chinese netizens, Yuku issued an apology. They explained that the revealed poster was only a draft that had been discarded and it was uploaded due to an employee's mistake. They also added that unlike the poster, the finalized title of the new program was Games Victory. However, according to the production company, the show is about participants playing challenging children games. So even if the name Squid is a mistake, the concept of the game has unmistakable traces of Squid Game. Yuku has also announced the production of an entertainment program similar to Mnet Street Woman Fighter. The program is China's first female dance artist audition show under the title Great Dancer. Meanwhile, this month Netflix revealed in its earnings announcement that 142 million paid members watched Squid Game for at least 2 minutes in the first 28 days of its launch. According to CNBC, this is 66% of the world's Netflix subscribers. Now, before we end the news, let's take a look at some of the noteworthy K-pop headlines for this week. It has been especially been a week of success for many artists. First up is Espa Savage and their unstoppable popularity. They have joined the Half Million Seller Club in just 15 days. As for CL, her album topped the iTunes chart in 13 different countries. Then there is our music queen, IU, whose new single Strawberry Moon placed number one on the domestic music charts. ITZY has also released their first full-length special edition album, earning over 10 million views on YouTube for their Swipe music video. And CM Blue has made a comeback with Western Men, a song that they wish to enjoy together with the fans. So, are you excited to hear Jimin and V's voice watching Eternals? How do you feel about their agency's lack of promotion? Also, how about the Chinese controversy over Squid Game? Tell us your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe to Korea Now for more updates.